Hello Beach Class and hello Paddock Primary School kids. It's lovely to see, I'll move that way. It's lovely to see you all, I'm missing you lots. But today I thought I would bring a little bit of the classroom to your home. So this is my garden. I promise I'm not ill, I'm just wearing no makeup so the sunglasses are going back on again. Uh, today we are going to be doing our seven times tables. However, Mrs Pearson, what are you like? I left my counting stick at school. So I've had to be a little bit creative and I'm going to be using my washing line. I hope you enjoy and join along with me at home. Now today we're learning our seven times tables. So, oh, one second, sorry. Uh, so what goes right at the very, very end? Zero times seven is zero. Well done. Put that there. Can you see it? Yeah, hopefully. Okay, and one lot of seven is seven. Well done, everyone. So we're going to pop our number seven next to our zero over here. What's double? Oh, it's a bit windy. What's double seven? Yes, that's right, it's 14. So we're gonna put two lots of seven. Very windy. Two lots of seven is 14. Okay, I want you to have a really good think in your head. What's double 14? Two lots of 14. Double 14 is, that's right, it's 28. Well done. Now, where am I going to put my 28? Is it going to go here? No, it's not, is it? Why not? Because it's four lots of seven. So we're going to put 28 over here. And how can I work out my middle number? That's right, I can add seven to this one or I could subtract seven from this one and I would be left with 21. There's 21. Three lots of seven is 21. Okay, just gonna pause it there and check that this video is working and if it is, I will be back with you with part two.